and you're going to make an impact. Uh, whether it affects few or affects many, you will make an impact. Now, you can make an impact, a negative and terrible impact, or you can make a positive and wonderful impact, pretty much. To what to degree is up to the individual to understand, but I believe, first of all, everyone that exists on this earth needs to understand that you can make an impact. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem. I mean, and and whatever impact you're making will affect at least a little or a whole lot, whether it's a negative one or a positive one. Martin Luther King, you know, uh, uh, I mean, if you look at his story, they got a, a I believe, a, a, I guess a fast video uh, history of Martin Luther King um, that uh, talks about how he was y young and stuff like that and how he grew up and what happened, you know, concerning his life. Um, you know, uh he was in a he he in his impact he was pretty much selected concerning a situation based upon as we know uh Rosa Parks you know you know uh wouldn't get going to the back of the bus um uh he was selected for a particular reason to do something about something. You know, it was something at first. But now it what that something that he did can transform into something nationwide concerning not just the United States of America, but the whole world, you know, what was is watching him trying to make this positive impact best way as possible. And it was an impact that was needed. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That I try to like, you know, tell people, I mean, that his impact was needed at that time. I mean, could you imagine uh, the 60s without, uh, you know, uh, civil rights without Martin Luther King? Yes. Wow. I mean, I know there were many civil rights leaders at that time. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Megger Evers. You know what I'm saying? That was trying to do what they can to try to make something better that needed to get better for the sake of, of, of the harmony of this country. You know what I'm saying? And the betterment of, of blacks and, and an understanding of of coming together as a people and get pretty much loving one another pretty much uh Martin Luther King was on the agenda to be about uh getting people to love one another address address the harsh treatments of blacks mainly but he was also trying to at the same time get the harmony of Blacks and whites loving each other as what he says in his, you know, dream speech that, you know, uh, white kids can play with black kids. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to get cultivate a harmony of love towards one another. I mean, his impact was great. But guess what? You as an individual, you will make an impact, whether it's little, whether it's a lot whether you think so or you don't think so. And you know, and what, here's the thing that um, I try to tell certain people that, that everyone has a gift. Everyone has a gift. But, but to realize something was given to you, not just to be given to you, you know what I'm saying? But to be given to inspire someone to inspire someone to hopefully help better the situation that's going on in this earth because 
it's too many impacts of making things more worse. You know what I'm saying? Um, in this earth, you know, it's too many people uh, are making this, bringing damage to this world, then developing this world to a better place. It's, it's too much damage going on. And, and are you going to be a part of the damage? You know what I'm saying? That's operating in darkness. Uh, this world system ran by the God of this world, blind the minds of men, um, leading them to, influencing them to sin. And the wages of sin is death. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's going to influence them with the substance called the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and pride of life. Um, are you going to be a part of the damage or are you going to be just watching the damage happen? You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, people think, well, you know, I'm not a bad person, but you're you're sitting back and watching bad things happen to other people. What, that makes you uh, a, a, a less criminal or something? Or, or, you know, or you're somewhat a good person? You know, the ideal of supposed to be doing good or doing positive is about an impact of helping somebody get better. You know what I'm saying? Um, doing whatever it takes to better others in their position that's terrible. You are at, you're motivated in that agenda to do that. Whether And it doesn't matter the resources that is given to you. Me, I'm about... Of course, to represent my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to uh, make an impact as much as best way as possible, giving God my very best. You know what I'm saying? Not about Matt Johnson being known and recognized by people, but if I can impact as what you know, First uh, Corinthians nine talk is the uh, ministering chapter. It teaches the ideal aspect of ministry. That as what Paul says, that I may save some, I'm going to try to do my some best, you know what I'm saying? And encourage other people to save some and be about it and following the word of God is in giving, you know, best way as possible because Jesus Christ showed a great performance of giving him his very best to die on the cross for us. We should, in return, those that truly want to be like him, give God his very best and make the make as much a great impact as possible, pretty much. As what Jesus says, with God, all things are possible. How much we are, you know, being uh, more like God or Genesis 126, made in the image in his likeness, is how much an impact we can make. You know, I'm all about motivating people to make a, a God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ impact. But how much, uh, I, I mean, but if I do that, you know what I'm saying? How much of impact someone that risk, look at my video or look at my post and what they're doing, how much they're going to be motivated to make an impact? Well, unfortunately, I'm not in charge of other people's and how they receive my videos or something like that. But guess what? You, you not aiming to try to make a great impact being a representation of Jesus Christ makes an impact. And you know what impact that makes? It makes an impact that most people in darkness will now have a reason to continue in darkness. You know what I'm saying? The, the most that you don't make an impact. Because, you know, I meet a lot of people, unfortunately, but there is a lot of people that, you know, say, well, I'm just, you know, this person and I'm just going to just live life and da, 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 da. And, and, and I'm going to be a good person. You know what I'm saying? They're just going to just do what they do and, you know, not really try to do something better and greater in their position for the sake of others, you know, like I will encourage somebody to try to achieve greatness for the sake of others. 
will be impacted to be inspired to be about making this world a better place. Because that's the ideal of being the light. A light where light is supposed to shine. The light is supposed to invade the territories of darkness. If we're truly about being the light as Christians and understanding an impact must be made as what Jesus said, John 4, 24, God is spirit and they shall worship him, must worship him in spirit and truth because it must, it, it, it must because we need to make a spiritual and true impact needs to be made in the world that is influencing so much lies. You know what I'm saying? Is what we need to see as Christians, you know, from our standpoint, that we need to be about making an impact. And guess what? The, the terrible impact that we can make is thinking that we can't make an impact. Every human being can make an impact for things to get better. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and, and you know, Martin Luther King, you know, his impact was very humble. You know what I'm saying? And, and it was humble that, that led to something great. Your impact might not lead to as something great as Martin Luther King's, but it had... But it can impact the arena of your family, your friends, your area. It can make an impact. You know what I'm saying? And and but the thing is, what I learned from my what I'm doing, uh, an impact needs to be made. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not that you know uh, I could sit back and lay back and watch you know uh, people operate in more darkness and a bunch of nonsense and think that the world is going to somewhat get better. You know what I'm saying? Some kind of way. No, an impact must be made because uh, it's getting worse and it's getting darker. You know what I'm saying? A light has to shine more brighter. It's what I hope you understand from this video that you are supposed to make an impact, period. But how much is that impact is going to be made is how much you understand that of who you are and God created you uh, uh, with a gift that is capable of impacting someone in a great way, whether, you know, uh, and well, the Bible says the gift of the calling of God is without repentance. You can utilize your gift the way you want to use it. But when you understand that, that this world is getting worse and waxing more worse, as Jesus said in Matthew 24, that a light has to be shined love has the love of God that can love his enemies and bless those that curse him and pray for them that spitefully use you. A love has to be impacted. You know what I'm saying? A love impact has to happen is what people need to understand concerning, you know, that you could make an impact, but the impact you don't make makes things worse. So those that you don't want to play the shy type that oh, I can't really do nothing. I don't know. I can do nothing. No, that's a lie. Every human being can make an impact, whether it's to two people or millions of people. We can make an impact, but you need to realize and understand that to be sincere about how much an impact you can make this world either better or bitter. Is what it is. And that's a message. God be glory here forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.